Okay, dear diary, it's the 17th of um, August, that's the anniversary of the great earthquake last year in Istanbul. And today a lot of the activity went on in Space 158, so I'm going to start there. Um, here in this area, um, Bashak and Peja have been taking down the floor on each side of this little platform here, I think it's feature 629 up in the northern end. Uh, John, Jim is just doing a wonderful job here with the midden, as we can see, defining this west wall very nicely. Talking about defining the west wall, the um, thing that we thought was the original um, west wall here, down here with the red bricks, and remember a few days ago I was saying I couldn't see how it quite fit in the line uh, up to the corner here of the... But anyway, this turns out to be something that it didn't seem as usual with this whole area. Uh, down here in the centre, um, Anne-Marie and was uh, cleaning this um, the around the oven, and we'll see some interesting things there. So here's the oven in the centre. And here, around it, on the floor there, you can see the floor, uh, is this really interesting circular plaster thing filled with orange that um, goes around the pillar of the screen wall. And I think it's around here that she was finding one of these floors, oh, there they are, that she was finding bone points right on the floor there. And here to the west of the oven, as they were cleaning out the bowl, we found this wonderful basket um, in the that seems to go around the sides of the bowl <coughs> and of the clay uh, clay bin round bin thing. And um, Amin is cleaning it now. Uh, it's just exquisite. We have lots of photos of it. But I'll just take a couple more here. It's at this point about uh, 25 centimeters across. So at the at the uh, northern end here, the plot thickens. It appears as they've been cleaning this uh, white floor um, along here. Not only does the white floor go up to the uh, actually up to the pillar, but um, as you can see, just about here. But the brown floor behind it goes up to the internal wall, and yet it also goes underneath the original bricks, so-called original bricks. Here, these red ones. And in fact, the floor goes underneath this. And so now we are thinking that rather than the original bricks, this is in fact some kind of a that the plaster on to the west of these so-called original bricks, was, which was sort of mystifying us, is the plaster of the west wall. And that this thing in front, which actually doesn't run the whole length, goes up to about the bin with the, up to the bin with the basket, um, that this is some kind of a feature of, of uh, what do we call it, um, like a relief thing going in the front. It's got plaster and it's molded and modeled and presumably fell down when the wall, the, the west wall originally collapsed. So we don't know if this is all old or is it later or what. Now everything is in disarray with the scheme, but hopefully by Sunday, Monday, we'll work it out. Um, what it probably means is that all this is fairly late in the sequence. But the mystery is, how, how have we, viewers, better expressing the mystery? How is it possible that we have this internal wall in front of such a fancy um, facade thing? So we shall, we shall see, but anyway, that's the problem at the moment. Meanwhile, down here in the burial in the central area, Bashak has cleaned the whole thing, and I think we have video of it, I should check. But they, um, we, are, we have taken photographs digital um, photographs which they are using as the basis for the drawing and in fact over here in the burial 
uh, the 6446447 mess, Laurie is actually using it as the basis for her drawing and what she's doing is taking the drawing and that the computer has produced and then adding to it. Over here, Bashak is taking the photograph and creating a drawing from the photograph. So two different ways of using the digital photographs. And this um, second burial, we didn't get this yesterday, but it's equally poignant. I don't know if we can see here with the light with its little toes. So the light's really bad. We'll look at it again tomorrow, dear diary. In the south end, um, Anna has been cleaning around in this incredibly complicated area around the oven, including holes, possible holes for ladders. We can see there at the base of feature 167 and just riddled with animal holes and everything around. It's just a nightmare to excavate. Vuk, meanwhile, has been cleaning the south wall so that they can draw that, been cleaning that from its, all of its um, floor deposits. And finally, in the northeast corner, um, we've cleaned, uh, come down to the sea floor of um, feature 173, all over that is the top of floor 7, very nice and white here. Um, you can see this huge little dip down, it's almost like a dome um, at the northern end. And, um, but it's still, it's really nicely good floor there and lots of probable packing in between. You can see all these floor levels in the corner here. Lots of floor levels that are packing this collapsing, perhaps collapsing uh, floor in the northeast corner. Otherwise we can see it might have something to do with the oven that's supposedly underneath. Here again is the um, northeast corner just looking towards the northeast itself to looking towards the east in fact. Uh, today we took a nice block of um, for micromorphology we took digital photographs of it um, from here from the floor of 173 going all the way through the floors from the top to this red level below C. What I also started doing here um, along the edge of the where the edge of uh, feature 162, in fact, is to take down um, the equivalent to try and find the edge of 162, the equivalent edge to floor 7 in 173, and so far I haven't yet managed to find it. This edge, this um, edge itself, belongs to floor, uh, what is it, 4 of, yeah, this is, right, this is floor 4. Um, of feature 162 and is obviously um, put there, it expanded, floor 4 obviously expanded the size of um, platform feature 162 and that's probably when all of this stuff was put on. It's very big, very making it a very big and high platform. What we're seeing here I suppose is coming down at the sea level um, we're going to find eventually that platform 162 was a very different shape and a very different level. At least that's what I hope is happening because so far I haven't found the edge of the platform. And dear diary, did I uh, remember to say that today we were visited by Turkish television TNN uh, from Ankara who disrupted our work for the whole period from almost the whole period from uh, 10 o'clock to 12.30. And um, they were, of course, interested in our burials. And um, they took pictures, they took footage of Anne-Marie doing her science and Laura doing her science with the drawing and uh, the basket. So anyway, 